We're working on the truck, you need help? But I guess not. What's up machine freaks? I hope you're all doing excellent today. Today, we're gonna make the Duramax a little bit more excellent today. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this a few days ago. The guy before me tried to fix this with some sort of epoxy or whatever. The bumper's cracked off the mount right there, which means it like rattles. See how it moves? So I wanna fix that today. I was going to try to paint some of the spots that are screwed up. Like I was gonna tackle that, or this, or this. But I'm not going to because of the rain clouds. I mean, it doesn't look like rain, but I don't wanna chance it. I wouldn't mind if it rained though because I'm not gonna do this project now. But I would like to have this washed for free. I do need to get my truck aligned because if you look really closely, this one's up, this one's down, this one's up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's wearing the inside of the tread. So I need to get this truck aligned. I knew it was wearing it out on the old tires too, but I didn't do anything about it. Life can get pretty hectic, and if you're not going through tires like crazy, then you don't really bother to make an appointment. But before I go ahead and spend like a lot of money for winter tires, I'm gonna get it aligned. It'll be real nice. Sounds like we have a new friend. One of the most tedious parts is finding the correct size. This American truck has metric bolts. And some bolts are standard bolts. In my opinion, I think everything should be metric. Then we wouldn't have to convert. Oh, smokes. I'm gonna need a breaker bar. Hulk put those suckers on. <laughs> Now I think the US is the only one that still uses the standard system. Everybody else uses the metric system. I understand that people that have been used to the standard system would have to adapt and and um, schools would have to adjust to that as well. Everybody would have to adjust to it. But the fact is, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? If I can't get this one off, how am I going to get the other six off? You have got to be kidding me. I understand I'm a skinny dude, but I can usually crank off any nut, and those nuts aren't coming off. Okay, that sounded that sounded completely wrong. I can take off any nut or bolt. No sexual references here. Okay, I got a breaker bar like I originally said I was going to get. Now let's see if I can get this thing off. Like the metric system is just convenience, just due to the fact that you have milligrams and kilograms and all the other kind of grams and all you have to do is move the decimal and zeros and I mean I think everybody would learn it really really fast oh now I get it that was a stupid stupid I'm, I'm gonna keep that in the video you're not supposed to loosen these things up you're supposed to loosen them from the top Duh. it's hard to see here it's dark you know we all make mistakes alright my excuse was I couldn't really see for example have you ever tried to take a selfie with the sun behind you? It just doesn't work. The camera's trying to adjust to the sun, not your face. That's why you're usually supposed to look into the sun so that the... That's like how photography works. That's my excuse. I'm looking at the sun in a dark space. My eyes are trying... It, it didn't work. So now I just f something up. And that's still a metric bolt. It's a 15. Oh my god, that comes off so much easier. <laughs> Okay, luckily my camera's adjusting pretty well, but you see how there's sunlight coming in there and there? Well, under here, it's very dark. And I didn't see that the bolts were actually welded, well, a part of that bracket. So that was just a simple mistake. I'm sure I pissed a lot of people off, This piece is busted. They got a lot of cold well down there. See how that's all nice one piece. 
this is supposed to be hooked up to this and this. And somebody didn't fix it right before me, so now I have to clean all this bull s this stuff up and then repaint it so that it doesn't rust. And then I'll go ahead and spray some rust preventative on the rusty parts. Make the rust chillax. <laughs> orders of operation you have to do certain operations before you do others that same scenario applies here so for example these little tabs they have to be welded on first before this big bracket is welded on the reason being is if I welded this first then I wouldn't be able to weld these on after so you want to break stuff down don't go out of order it'll cause you a lot of frustration a lot of time and you probably start throwing stuff <laughs> Everything for those two small brackets are prepped. Now we'll tack, tack, remove the vice grips, weld it solid. None of that cold weld crap. Now with a tack, you can move the material around a little bit. If you don't like exactly where it is. So now I like where everything is, now I can just weld it right up. The reason why I gotta grind them down is because that surface is flat, and this has to be flat. With the, with the weld, it bubbles up a little bit. So now it's like those two brackets never fell off. Now let's complete this mission by welding the big bracket on. You're up, buttercup. To prevent the rust process, I put some primer and paint in one on them. As you can see, there's a gap in between the two pieces. This is good. This allows penetration. You want penetration because you want one solid piece. You don't want to do what the cold weld does and just cover over the crack. You want to fuse the crack together. And that's also a welding term. You want to fuse the material, but you also want to penetrate the material. We're going to crank up the heat a little bit. I like the second pass better. So with my little 110 welder, this was like a C and a 4. This was a D and like a 5. I like that way better. All these bolts had thread locker on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put thread locker back on them because there's probably a good explanation why there's thread locker on it. Woo, got it. Ah, 
way better. That's beautiful. American truck, American fixed, metric bolts. I think the U.S. should follow my motto. I'm getting all patriotic just because I fixed my truck. <laughs>